Picture this. You're holding a newspaper from last month, already turning yellow, right? Now, guess what I'm about to show you. Chinese manuscripts from over 1,000 years ago that look fresher than your morning paper. While your books crumble and your documents fade in months, ancient Chinese scholars created paper so durable it survived a millennium. What did they know that we've completely forgotten? Well, here's the thing. The answer will make you question everything about modern progress. We live in this age where newer always means better, right? Our technology advances, our methods improve, our materials get stronger. But here's the twist. When it comes to paper, something you touch every single day, we've actually gone backwards by centuries. Think of it like this. Imagine if modern cars were slower than horse-drawn carriages. If today's medicine was less effective than medieval remedies. If our smartphones had worse reception than tin cans and string. That's exactly what happened with paper. This video is built on the careful cross-referencing of peer-reviewed studies on paper degradation chemistry, documented research on traditional Chinese papermaking methods, and comparative analysis of historical paper durability data from multiple academic sources. Here's what we're going to uncover today. First, the lost secrets of Chinese paper making that created documents lasting over 1,000 years. We're talking about techniques so advanced they seem like magic. Second, exactly why your modern paper is designed to fail. The shocking truth about planned obsolescence hiding in your everyday documents. And third, what we sacrificed for mass production, the trade-offs that cost us our legacy. By the end of this video, you'll never look at a piece of paper the same way again. You'll understand why ancient wisdom beats modern technology and why we desperately need to remember what we've forgotten. Ready? Let's dive in. Your expensive printer paper has an expiration date. It's not an accident. Think about this. Your birth certificate is dying. Your diploma is fading. Your family photos are crumbling. Right now. As we speak. Why does this matter? We're losing our history. Our memories. Our legacy. All because of a lie about progress. Let me show you how deep this goes. Walk into any library. Look at books from the 1970s. They're brown and brittle. Now look at books from the 1800s. Many still look fresh. What changed? Everything. Here's the shocking truth. Modern paper companies discovered something evil. If paper lasts forever, you only buy it once. If it dies quickly, you keep buying more. So they engineered failure into the product. So what's killing your paper? Modern paper comes from wood pulp. Wood pulp contains lignin, paper poison that starts a chemical reaction the moment it meets air. But it gets worse. Your paper gets blasted with bleach. This makes it bright white, but destroys the fibres from day one. It's like building with rotten wood. Looks good now, falls apart later. Here's the cruel irony. The brighter your paper, the more chemicals it contains. The more chemicals, the faster it dies. That premium bright white paper you pay extra for, it's guaranteed to fail faster than cheap newsprint. Here's proof. Modern paper yellows in months. Traditional paper stays strong for centuries. Picture two sheets of paper, one made today with our advanced methods, one made 1,000 years ago with ancient techniques. Fast forward 50 years. Today's paper looks like a tea stain. The ancient paper, still perfect. This isn't progress. It's planned failure dressed up as innovation. But here's what really gets me angry. We know how to make permanent paper. The knowledge exists. We just choose not to use it. The paper industry has convinced you that bright white equals quality, that smooth texture means superior, that cheap price is a benefit, all lies. Real quality paper isn't bright white. It's slightly off-white or cream colored. Real quality paper has texture you can feel. Real quality paper costs more upfront, but lasts forever. But how did ancient Chinese paper makers beat our technology. What you're about to learn will change everything. The ancient Chinese didn't make paper, they made time machines. Here's why this matters. We live in a throwaway world. 
We've forgotten how to make things last forever. The cost? We can't preserve anything for our kids. But the ancient Chinese thought differently. They believed in permanence. They built for eternity. Every sheet of paper was an investment in the future, a gift to generations not yet born. So how did they do it? It starts with materials. Shon paper used bark from sandalwood trees, mulberry trees too. These aren't just any trees. Sandalwood bark has natural preservatives. Mulberry bark has incredibly long fibres. These fibres have something special. Higher cellulose crystallinity. Think of it as armour for paper. Regular wood fibres are like cotton threads. Sandalwood and mulberry fibres are like steel cables. But here's the crazy part. Their bleaching took a full year, one year just to prepare the materials. They didn't use chemicals, they used time and nature. The bark would sit in mountain streams. Cold water slowly removed impurities. Sun and wind naturally bleached the fibres. Compare that to modern mills. They rush through everything in hours. Modern mills use chlorine dioxide, hydrogen peroxide, sodium hydroxide. All these chemicals speed up the process. But they also destroy the paper's soul. Now here's where it gets really incredible. The ancient Chinese developed a philosophy around paper making. This philosophy taught that rushing destroys quality, that shortcuts lead to failure, that true mastery requires time. Master paper makers would meditate before starting work. They would study the weather, the humidity, the temperature. Everything had to be perfect. They understood something we've forgotten. The environment affects the final product. You can't make quality paper in a hurry. You can't make permanent paper with impatient hands. Ready for this? Making Zhuan paper took 108 steps. The whole process? Three years, three years for one batch. Let me break this down for you. The first 40 steps involve selecting and preparing materials, only bark from trees of the right age, only harvested at the right time of year, only processed under perfect condition. Picture this. A master paper maker starts when his grandson is born. The paper finishes when the kid is walking and talking. That's patience we can't imagine. The next 40 steps involve the cleaning and bleaching process. Each fibre cleaned by hand. Impurities removed one by one. Natural bleaching that took months. But here's what's really amazing. Each step had a purpose. Nothing was rushed, nothing was skipped. The final 28 steps involve the actual paper making, pressing, drying and quality control. Each sheet handled like a precious artwork. Modern paper making has maybe 10 steps. Ancient Chinese paper making had 108. Which do you think produces better results? Here's your proof. Ancient Chinese paper lasts centuries. No fading, no decay. It beats modern methods completely. Think about it. Chinese manuscripts are older than most countries. They still look fresh. You can read text written before America was discovered. The paper looks like it was made yesterday. But here's what really blows my mind. These ancient paper makers weren't just craftsmen. They were scientists, chemists, engineers. They understood molecular structure before we had microscopes. They knew about pH balance before we had testing equipment. They mastered preservation before we understood bacteria. How? Through centuries of observation, trial and error, passing knowledge from master to student. Ancient paper makers knew something we forgot. Quality takes time. Our instant world abandoned this wisdom. We wanted everything now. We got everything temporary. But their genius went beyond materials. They had preservation tricks that seem like magic. Get ready. The ancient Chinese turned paper making into warfare. But they weren't fighting people. They were fighting time itself. Here's why this matters. Every paper has enemies. Bugs want to eat it. Water wants to rot it. Time wants to destroy it. Lose this battle? You lose everything on that paper forever. The ancient Chinese understood this. They built defence systems into their paper. Their secret weapon? Pepper water. Yes, pepper water. 
They use specific pepper varieties, each with different protective compounds that insects hate. These chemicals create a barrier around the paper. They soaked paper in pepper water. This kept bugs away, stopped decay too. But they didn't stop there. They put citronella grass right in the paper, built in pest control. Citronella releases oils that repel moths, silverfish, bookworms, all the creatures that love to eat paper. Think of it this way, modern paper is a house with no locks. Ancient Chinese paper was a fortress with guards and alarms. But the genius goes deeper. They also used other natural preservatives. Tea extracts for antifungal properties. Bamboo ash for pH balance. Even certain tree saps for flexibility. Each ingredient served multiple purposes. Tea prevented mold. Ash neutralized acids. Saps kept paper from becoming brittle. Here's what's really fascinating. They discovered these techniques through pure observation. No laboratories, no chemical analysis, just centuries of careful experimentation. They noticed that papers stored near pepper plants lasted longer. So they tested pepper water. It worked. They saw that papers wrapped in citronella grass stayed pest free. So they embedded the grass in the paper itself. Brilliant. Here's proof. Historical records show pepper water worked. Citronella grass worked too. They created a defense system that modern chemicals can't match. Let me give you a real example. Scholars have found Chinese manuscripts in caves. These papers were exposed to humidity. Temperature changes insects, rodents. After hundreds of years, the papers were still readable, still flexible, still strong. Compare that to modern documents stored in climate-controlled libraries. After 50 years, they need special handling. After 100 years, they're too fragile to touch. Here's a comparison that will amaze you. Modern preservatives are like medicine. They work for a while, then they stop. Ancient preservation was like a healthy immune system. It worked forever. The aha moment Ancient scholars treated paper like we treat computer backups, except their methods worked for thousands of years, without poison. We spray chemicals that might work for decades. They use natural solutions that worked for centuries. And here's the beautiful part. Their preservation methods were completely safe. No toxic fumes, no dangerous chemicals, no environmental damage. But here's what really gets me. We have all this knowledge. It's documented, it's proven, yet we ignore it completely. Why? Because natural preservation takes time. Modern industry wants instant results. So why did we dump these methods for systems that fail? Here's the truth nobody talks about. We didn't lose the knowledge. We chose to forget it. Why does this matter? Every time you pick speed over quality, you make a deal with the devil. You get what you want now. You pay later. The cost? We traded away permanence. In a world obsessed with legacy, we made everything temporary. What happened? The Industrial Revolution changed everything. Suddenly, speed mattered more than quality. Volume mattered more than durability. Here's the timeline. Before 1800, all paper was handmade. It lasted centuries. After 1800, machines took over paper started dying young. The first paper machines could produce more in a day than craftsmen made in a year. But the quality plummeted. Factory owners didn't care. Consumers didn't know the difference. At first, by the time people realized what they'd lost, it was too late. The knowledge was disappearing. The craftsmen were dying out. But here's the part that will make you furious. This wasn't an accident. It was a deliberate choice. Business leaders knew they were sacrificing quality. They had studies. They had data. They knew traditional methods produced superior paper. But they also knew something else. Superior paper was bad for business. Think about it. If you make paper that lasts forever, you sell it once. If you make paper that dies quickly, you sell it repeatedly. Which business model makes more money? So they made a conscious decision sacrifice quality for profit, trade permanence for cash flow. They convinced consumers that cheap was good, that fast was better, 
that disposable was convenient. All lies designed to increase sales. Here's what will make you angry. Research shows traditional methods work. We just don't use them because they take too long. Translation. We could make paper that lasts forever. We choose not to because it's not profitable enough. A sheet of traditional Chinese paper might cost 10 times more than modern paper, but it lasts 100 times longer, which is really more expensive. Modern businesses can't think that far ahead. They need profits this quarter, this year, not this century. Here's the deeper problem. We've created a culture that values convenience over quality, speed over permanence, cheap over lasting. This mindset affects everything we make. Our clothes fall apart after a few washes, our electronics break after a few years, our furniture crumbles after a few moves. We've normalized planned obsolescence. We've accepted that everything is temporary, but it doesn't have to be this way. Pollution makes modern paper worse no matter what we do. We created a world where our best efforts can't match ancient craftsmen. The air is full of acids. The water contains chemicals. Even our best preservation efforts fight a losing battle. Your aha moment? We didn't lose permanent paper knowledge. We threw it away because temporary paper makes more money. Every yellow book, every crumbling document, every faded photo. It's not natural decay. It's choosing speed over permanence, profit over legacy. But here's what gives me hope. More people are waking up to this truth. They're demanding quality. They're willing to pay for permanence. Maybe it's time to remember what the ancient Chinese knew. Some things are worth doing slowly. Some things are worth doing right. Here's what ancient wisdom teaches us about today. Next time you see yellowing paper, remember this. It's not inevitable. It's a choice. Speed over permanence, profit over legacy. Ancient Chinese paper makers knew something we forgot. Some things are worth doing slowly, worth doing right. They understood that true value isn't measured in dollars. It's measured in decades, centuries, millennia. Here's my challenge. In a world obsessed with faster and cheaper, what if you chose better instead? What if you valued permanence over convenience? Quality over quantity? Legacy over profit? This isn't just about paper. It's about everything we make, everything we build, everything we leave behind. Imagine if we applied ancient Chinese wisdom to modern problems. What if we built phones that lasted decades? Cars that ran for centuries? Houses that stood for millennia? What if we stopped accepting planned obsolescence? What if we demanded permanence? The ancient Chinese proved it's possible. They made paper that outlasted empires, that survived wars, that defied time itself. We can do the same. We just have to choose quality over convenience, permanence over profit. What other modern improvements are actually steps backward? Tell me in the comments. If this opened your eyes to ancient genius, hit that like button. Subscribe for more lost wisdom that puts our modern world to shame. Understanding what we lost is the first step to getting it back. The ancient Chinese didn't just make paper, they made time machines. What will you choose to make permanent?